Ugh, what is that obnoxious glowing orb in the sky? The sun. I'm gonna fight it. Hey, boy. Are you from tennis shoes? Because you're the only tennis shoes. You get my drift? People who suppress their feelings are scary. I'd much rather associate with the person who will punch a trash can and break a window, but come back feeling sedated and hungry for chicken wings. Yeah. Yahoo answers, how do I resurrect someone back to life without making them zombies or vampires? Well, resurrection is basically impossible nowadays because the spirits need a reason to come back to the world. And have you seen the world lately? Did you know? By replacing your potato chips with grapefruit as a snack, you can lose up to 90% of what little joy you still have left in your life. Worst. Fruit. Why does it exist? I am the gender of being a funny little guy. Uh, he, 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 if you will. You're not even Jeff. Wait, Yahoo answers, how many humans in a trench coat are you? We're actually six trench coats and a human. It's very uncomfortable for all parties involved. What? Yes, I am both the friend who texts back immediately or leaves you on read because I'm reading fan fiction. Depends on the day. Deal with it. Being a vampire sounds cool at first, but you have to remember they can't have garlic. And what kind of sad fucking existence would that be? What is the point of eternal undeath without the spice of life? Just truly bonkers how much I love lying down. Like being horizontal? I'm parallel. Well, it's paralleled by both the floor and the ceiling, but I see where you're coming from. So, what's your stock portfolio like? Oh, well, I've got chicken, beef, vegetable, the classics mostly. Well, keep it up and before long you'll be a bullionaire. <laughs> I bake muffin. Muffin tasty. What flavor is muffin? It's muffin flavored. <laughs> My first joke I ever made was drawing a comic where two people were staring at a dress in the window of a store. One of them says, I would die for that dress. And the other says, I would kill for that dress. And then they look at each other awkwardly. This is when I was like six, and every day I wake up knowing I'll never be able to top this. My magnum opus. I love it when you're drinking citrus drinks and you can't feel your tongue and your entire face starts sweating. It's so cleansing. Um... My doctor said I'm allergic to citrus. Me as the sole survivor of the apocalypse, commenting last on every YouTube video. One day you'll get an alert that someone liked your comment. It was me, on a separate account. I got bored. At my funeral, the audience will watch my favorite comfort movie, and whoever checks their phone first gets disinherited. Actually, I like this. This is, this is good. This is a good idea. I'm gonna do this. Andy, make sure I do this when I die. do just fine. You could do more, you know. Yes, I could have gone to Russia and wrestled a bear. Talking about things we could do, you could have fucked right off. When did everyone agree on calling Tumblr a hell site? Literally day one, my dude. Day one. Stick. Mmm, <gasps> a stick indeed. Ten-year-old me wants to pick it up and swing it around like a sword. That'd be great. If only I had a magical editor that could just let me use that for at least probably two seconds of me just bonking something with a stick. If only. I could fix him. Yeah, well, I could accept him as he is. You don't like the murder? Grow up. The atrocities are part of him, and I decided they're funny. Right before this video, I got an ad using PM's voice. And thus, my life as a voice actor and YouTube dude have finally collided. That said, though... Today's video is brought to you by Ray!